Did you know it's possible to live stream or record video directly from the built-in camera on certain Bamboo Lab 3D printers? Right now I'm recording using my streaming setup on my PC, and if I just go to this scene over here, there, there is my P2S, which is not physically connected to this computer. And I'm live streaming a print that I am doing there. You can, you can do whatever you want when you're doing this. I, I don't have to be in the corner. It could just be a straight view of the printer. You can create scenes where it's, you know, it's a live stream and then down here in the corner, we have like live updates on the printer. Your printer just becomes a video source that you can do whatever you want with in OBS. So I'll show you how to set this up in OBS on a PC, OBS on a Mac, and in Ecamm Live through kind of a loophole because it's not officially supported through Ecamm Live on a Mac. At the time I'm recording this, the live stream functionality is available on the P2S, the X1, X1C, X1E, H2D, and the H2S. I only have the P2S, so that's the only one that I've tried. And there is also some conflicting info on Bamboo's website about which printers and locations it's available in. So if you're not sure, try it out and see. OBS is totally free, you got nothing to lose. Worst thing that'll happen is it doesn't work and you're not able to do it, but best case scenario, you can use your printer in a really cool way. So here we are in Bamboo Studio on my PC. I started a print just a few minutes ago. If you've ever clicked on this little gear icon and you notice this go live option, that's what we're talking about today. If you do click the show live video guide page, that will give you written instructions directly from Bamboo on how to do this. And those are pretty clear and pretty good, but it's a little complicated at times. And there are, at least at the time I'm recording this, a couple of small errors that could cost you a lot of time and frustration. So I want to explain everything clearly how to get it actually working. Now, the first time you click go live, you're going to get a pop-up that pops up and asks if you want to install some camera tools. Click yes. This is going to download and install a few files into the Bamboo directory on your computer. And these are super important because these are the files that basically tell the printer where to send the video signal. So this is how you're going to bring that feed into OBS. And once that stuff is installed, once you click the go live option, you'll notice the little camera icon, the lens of this camera, it's very small, but it's red. And that means the, the printer is actively streaming. But just because it's streaming doesn't mean it has anywhere to actually go. So that's what we need to set up in OBS. If you're unfamiliar with OBS, it is totally free streaming and recording software. It is super powerful. It's Mac and PC compatible. So it's, it's pretty awesome and the streaming functionality in the Bamboo printers is designed specifically to be used with OBS. As I'm over here in OBS, just try to ignore the infinite window effect that is happening. We'll cover that up in a second. What you're going to do to add the printer is click the little plus icon under sources, and then we're going to add a media source. Once you click add media source, you should immediately see something that looks like this. And right here where it says local file, we're gonna uncheck that. We are not using a local file. And right here where it says input, I'm going to paste this file URL this is the file that was downloaded when you installed those camera tools. You can either copy and paste that directly from Bamboo's own directions, or I'll put it in the description of this video. The only thing you need to change is the username. So right here, mine says Tom, because that's the username that I'm using on my computer, but you will have to put in your own username. And as funny as it sounds, you might not know your username because sometimes your computer name and your username aren't the same thing. And you do need to be exact with the username that you enter into this setup. So that means in Windows, we can press Control Shift Escape and we're gonna bring up Task Manager. And then we can go to Users on the left-hand side and you will see the actual username. So in my case, it's Tom with a capital T. That's what I need to put over here in the file string is Tom with a capital T. And the next thing we'll do is go to the very bottom of these settings where it says MPEG options. And we're going to paste the next string of words that we got from the Bamboo website or again from the description of this video. You do not need to change anything in this. It can be pasted exactly as is. And in an ideal world, you would see your printer's camera right away. But if that doesn't happen, you might need to close OBS and reopen it for it to kick in. And if it still doesn't work after that, then close Bamboo Studio, close OBS, open Bamboo Studio first and make sure the live streaming option is on with the little red dot on the camera lens and then reopen OBS and you should be good to go. You should be good to go BS. I don't know. Now, if you want to do this on a Mac, it's basically the exact same process. You open up OBS. We do everything that we just did, except where there is an error on the Bamboo website. It's a very small error that could be very, very frustrating is when you go to media source, Bamboo tells you to do file colon slash and then the URL string. 
and they are wrong. It is file colon slash slash. You need to have two slashes on Mac OS in order for it to work. Windows can be one. That means you can paste it directly from the Bamboo instructions. Mac OS needs to have two. If you don't have two, it won't work and you could be very frustrated. Ask me how I know. And similarly on Mac OS, you will need to change to your username. Now finding your username can be a little bit trickier on Mac OS. The easiest way to do it is to go into your library and see where your library is stored because that is the username you wanna use, which might be different than your account username. The problem with this is that sometimes it can be tricky to find your library in macOS, depending on what your Finder visibility preferences and settings are. So the easiest thing to do is make sure you are in Finder, then click on Go and go down here to where it says Go to Folder, and just start typing in Library with a capital L. Right there, you see how it popped up, Users MacBook Pro Library. So even though for me, my account is Tom, it's going with the computer's username, which is MacBook Pro, all one word, no caps. For me, it's gonna be different for you, probably. That is the username that I need to put in this URL string here. So we have one slash, we have that username, and then we are good to go. We just need to paste that same thing down here. This is exactly the same as on Windows. We don't need to change anything, but there's one extra step you can do if you wanna bring the video feed from your Bamboo printer into Ecamm Live on your Mac. So I've opened up Ecamm Live and on my MacBook, it's just my built-in MacBook's camera. Hello. <laughs> but if you want to add a camera to Ecamm, your video sources pop up here. There is currently, I don't know what camera to look at, currently no way to just add the URLs and everything that we just did in OBS through Ecamm. So that method won't work. However, if I go into my OBS, and I start a virtual camera, all I need to do is click that start virtual camera. Now in Ecamm, OBS will show up as a virtual camera source. And now I have that signal in Ecamm Live. So now I can do all my Ecamm things with that as just another video source, like I would with anything else. I can make scenes and everything using OBS. So that means that if you want to use your bamboo camera, in Ecamm Live, you still need to use the OBS virtual cam as kind of like a go-between, but it is 100% possible. There are a few things to keep in mind when you're using your Bamboo 3D printer's camera as part of a live stream or a video recording. And the first is that you will not be able to change the camera's resolution or improve it. It is a 1080 camera that looks pretty darn good for being a camera in a 3D printer, but it's not the best 1080 camera out there. It's definitely not a 4K camera. There's nothing you can do about that. You can't change the frame rate either. So what you get is what you get. There's also not any audio with the camera. It's only image. You probably don't need the audio from your 3D printer, but it's just something to be aware of. And then there's also probably going to be some lag. So what you're seeing is it has to go from the printer to your computer, through OBS and then into your stream or recording or whatever, it's probably going to be a couple of seconds behind what's actually happening in real life. I don't think that this is a problem because I don't know of any scenario where you would absolutely need 100% real time, zero latency monitoring of a 3D printer, but it's just something to be aware of. Like right now, as I bring in this feed from my printer, Everything you're seeing on the printer is probably like from three to five seconds ago. So it's not perfectly live. I don't think that that matters or affects anything. And I can't really think of a scenario where it would. Now, another thing that you saw me do just now is set this up on my Mac and on my PC. Keep in mind that you need to set up Bamboo Studio streaming on the computer that's running OBS. So if you're like me and you kind of use your printer from a bunch of different devices, if you want to record or stream from this computer, make sure that this has OBS open and this is what has Bamboo Studio open with live streaming enabled. If you then want to switch to a different computer, you need to open OBS and Bamboo Studio on here and enable live streaming and Bamboo Studio on here. So that means here when I have the printer running into OBS on my PC, I have Bamboo Studio open on my PC and I click the live stream button there. If I want to switch over and do that on my Mac, then I need to close this, open up Bamboo Studio and OBS over here and start the live streaming option in Bamboo Studio on the Mac. I'll put a link to the official instructions on how to do this in the description to this video, along with the lines that you need to copy and paste into OBS. Just remember that you need to use the Windows one for Windows and the Mac one for Mac, and you need to be really specific about finding the correct username for whichever computer you're using. I think this is a really fun kind of experimental feature, so I'd be super curious to know how you've used it, if you're gonna use it, what you've done with it. It's almost like, you know, new territory. It's, it's very, very cool. As somebody who loves streaming and audio video gear and 3D printing, 
having these two worlds collide through the bamboo printers is kind of amazing.